So the form builder is a great way to build any type of form within your app to gather information on your user. And we have a couple of options here which you can use. All they do is pre-select certain form fields. So you have mailing list and query and then custom is where you can add your own, but you can add your own to any that you wish. Um, you have a description, so this will be where you put in information about what users get when they fill in this form. And you can bold underline if you wish. Just leave it as, as it is for the time being. And then you'll see form fields. So you can have mandatory, where they have to fill in this information to progress. And then you have a, a lot of options here. So I'll add in one of each um, to show you. Subfield. Um, date. Up down. Okay. So here you can have this will be what the information is displayed within the form. You can get them to enter their phone number, their email, a text area. You could say which you could put as comments and then check boxes. So you could put this in how did you like your meal? Um, star, two stars, or three stars. Again, you could do it all the way to 10 if you wanted. It'd probably be better for the drop down. So let me just show you. Did you like your meal? copy and paste. I'll give you a lot of suggestions after on how to use form builders and then you could do this here. We'll just paste this in. Okay so with a form builder it allows you to gather the specific information that you require. So I could add in more checkbox areas if I wanted. So I could add in more questions. Now the key part is you don't want to be adding in a ton of questions for people to have to fill out. You want them to be able to do it in a minute max. It can be for feedback on a meal they've had, in a hotel they stayed in, on a vacation they went on, anything that your app is about, there's a way for you to do this, which will make it a fun way for you to be able to get their name and email. You could even do a competition. So I'm sure you've seen those sort of survey competitions on Facebook and so forth. Well, you could do the same. You could have a question and then you give three different answers, select the answers. And then you can enter them into a draw. All the correct entries get entered into a, a draw to win a certain prize. Not only can it be used for local businesses to get feedback from their customers, it can also be used for niche apps to run sort of competitions, prizes. And the key part about all this is, is that it's a way for you to capture the data of your customer Get, you can get their name, you can get their email, you can possibly get their phone number. You can ask them to put in their home address. So you could put in your address for the text area. You can find information relating to maybe your app. So for example, you could put in, you could create a, using the form builder, you could create a quick survey asking what's the key thing they would like to see in your app. Give them a couple of options what they don't like about your app, again, a few options. And then you could send out a push notification to them, letting them know you've got a survey and you'll give, choose your fills it in, some report or guide 
um, and relate them to your market or enter them in the uh, prize draw to win a $20 Amazon gift certificate or something along those lines. Or maybe you're an affiliate marketer and you want to use the form builder as a way to pre-qualify your leads. Well, you can do that as well. You can ask them what age they are. Products they've tried in the past to solve the problem that they face. And what is the number one problem that they are facing. And then when you get that information, you can construct your promotions so that it targets the right people and it attracts the people that need your service that you're offering. You'll see here submission buttons, text, success message, so you can enter in. This is for people who don't necessarily um, have English speaking apps. They may be from other countries. And then you can alert whenever you receive a new message, so you can enter in your email. So as you get leads, you can get them sent directly to your email. So you can see all the responses. And we also hook into Aweber, um, GetResponse, MailChimp, and Infusionsoft. So you can add these, these leads directly into um, any one of these autoresponder services. This is really vital. So not only can you receive emails directly to an email account that you set up, so you can study the data, which is very important. Uh, to making decisions on how you're going to market a certain product or service or how you're going to improve your app or how you're going to improve offers you have for such a local, a local business. Maybe they want to improve their service or their food that they provide or their rooms, etc. And you can also connect it to an autoresponder service. So it goes straight in, so it makes it very easy for you to send out um, emails. Again, if you're running competitions with your form builder, then it's a great way for you to incentivize people to opt in to your list. And if you harness an email list correctly, it can be worth a lot of money. I'm just going to go and save this now. Oh, submit. And thank you. So we'll just save this now and then you can see um, how it looks. So we'll just click on update and preview. And then we'll scroll down to it. I just left it as called form builder. You can change it to whatever you want. So there you can see there is the description that I put in. Enter name, email. And then we'll just scroll down so you can see field name, enter field name, address. Again, I just used the text area and put address there. How did you like your mail? Enter field name. So you can select the date. Again, how did you like your mail? So that's a drop down, which is a better option, or you can have a radio style button. And then when they fill in all this information and click submit, it will take them to your success message. So you could actually customize it and say, thank you for filling out this survey on XYZ um, and so forth. So it is a great way for you to build out forms within your app that will get the information that you require. There's a lot of ways you can do it, as I discussed earlier in this video. So you can get creative and feel free to pop into the forum and share your ideas or ask for advice on how you could incorporate this into a niche market that you're in. And you're going to find a lot of helpful people who will be happy to discuss um, options with you.